Hey guys, um, this is the recording for example 9-2, okay? Um, example 1 from 9-2. So transform each polar equation into an equation in rectangular coordinates, okay? Then identify and graph the equation. Then verify your graph using a graph you using your graphing utility. Now this last piece, okay, I'm not going to do here on um, my recording, but you can definitely do that when you're working on your homework, okay? So that way you know whether you're graphing it right or wrong. Um, but if you know for sure that you don't, uh, that you're on the right track where you check the back of the book and you're doing it right, then it's great. But if it's an even answer and you don't have the answer in the back of the book, then there's a good idea to use your graphing calculator and, and check it out to see if graphing by hand is correct. Okay, so the first part says, hey, transform each polar equation into an equation in rectangular coordinates. So all you are given is r equals 3. Well, the, you don't know what the angle is supposed to be, okay? All you know is the radius is 3 units all the way around, okay? That's all you know. So, well, to get to your rectangular, I need to know what x is, right? And to, need to know what x is, I need to know y. But I don't have any of that information. So what do you think you want to do? First thing is, can I square both sides? Okay. So if I square both sides, I now have r squared equals 9. Okay. In rectangular equation, I can't have r. Okay. I can have x and I can have y. So remember, you have to know r squared is always x squared plus y squared, okay? So I can totally take out r squared and now put in x squared plus y squared equals 9. Voila! Okay, so this is the same equation in rectangular coordinates. x squared plus 9, y squared was 9. Well, this is actually a circle because it's identified, okay? So it's a circle and we are going to graph it out. This circle has the center at 0, 0, okay? You can graph it out using um, rectangular coordinates, or you can graph it out using polar. Polar just says, hey, you know what? It's three units radius, so what does that mean? One, two, three, right? Dots, three, three, three. So in theory, polar means I have a radius of three units all the way around. What does that really mean? Because you don't know what the angle is, you just keep on going again and again and again, right? So it's a circle of of radius 3. Now in rectangular form, um, you can still make this into a rectangular form, okay? Rectangular form just meaning that, hey, x-axis is this way, okay? y-axis is this way. Center according to this equation, center is 0, 0. Go up 3, down 3, left 3, right 3, and you're still going to get the same thing. Center is 0, 0, and radius is 3. So either way, you will still get the same exact answer. Okay. Oh, look how annoying this is. Can you see like the bottom of that page is, um, I did not print or, I guess, format this right. So look, I have B is theta equals pi over 6, okay. Well, this is a little bit different, okay. A, all you know is the radius. B, all you know is the angle. Oh, man, what does that even mean, right? If all you know is the angle and you do not know the radius, I mean, the radius can be whatever it wants to be, just so you know, okay. All right, so, uh, well, I first have to kind of write a rectangular form. The only thing that has theta in it um, that I can think of that has y and x is tangent. So tangent of theta equals y divided by x, okay? All I know is theta, okay, this theta is the same as this theta, okay? And I can substitute theta with pi over 6. So tangent of pi over 6 equals y over x, okay? Tangent of pi over 6 is radical 3 over 3 equals y over x. I'm going to solve for y. You are in rectangular, so let's try to solve for y. So cross multiply. So now we have 
what, x times radical 3 equals 3y. Divide both sides by 3. Whoa, this is amazing. y equals rad 3 over 3x, three okay? You have to identify what this is. What is this? This is a line. It's a line. Isn't that amazing? Okay. This is totally a line. Okay. So let's graph it out. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate how I would be graphing this in um, rectangular format. Okay. So this line, here's my y axis. Here is my x axis in rectangular format. Okay. This line has an intercept at zero, a y intercept at zero, zero, okay? Then it has a slope of radical three over three. Radical three is in between um, one and two. So you can go, uh, here's one, here's two, right? So go up one, radical three and then over three units. Well, I kind of don't have three units here because it's all in like polar form. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball what three units is, okay? Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so this is sort of every one of this is one unit. Okay, kind of eyeballing it. So I'm gonna go up radical three, run all the way to three. Okay, up radical. So remember, radical three is in, and then do that a couple of times. But it looks like I can just do that one more time because I don't have enough marks here. So remember again, rad three is in between one and two. Okay, so go up somewhere here and then go over three units. Okay, so something like that. So look. I now have two or three dots, in this case really three dots, okay? And I'm going to connect my dots, make a straight line. If you have to, use a ruler. All right. And I can even, since I have multiple colors, I'm going to go rainbow on you. Okay. Okay, look at that beautiful line, right? These are the dots I use. Great. That's a line, okay? In rectangular format, y equals square root root 3 or square root over 3 of x. Now, how would I graph it out using polar? Well, polar, all it says is that all you know is the angle, okay? What happens to be pi over 6? And you don't know the radius. That means the radius goes on forever. So guess what? You are on the same exact line. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. That's how we graph those out. So anytime you see a radius all by itself, it means it's going to be a circle. Okay? Because you don't know the angle. That means the angle can be going around and around and around. Anytime you see a theta equals, that means it's a line. Okay? Next, what do you think this is? R times sine equals negative 4. r times sine of theta equals negative 4. So let's try to figure out how to change this into a rectangular format. Well, what is this? r sine of theta. What is that? r sine of theta. What is that? Is that y? Yes, it is. It's totally y. So here's your rectangular format. This is a horizontal line. Okay, it's a horizontal line. So, how do I graph horizontal line in polar in um, rectangular format? Okay, so this one. I would not show you how to do it in polar because um, you would need to do you would need to do test of symmetry and I'm going to test the symmetry below here. Um, so right now we are just going to use rectangular format to graph. Okay. So I need four units below. So one, two, three, four. It's y equals negative four. So I'm going to go horizontal line goes that way and a horizontal line goes that way. Not gorgeous, All right? So y equals negative four. Okay, which is equivalent to r sine theta equals negative 4. So if you plug in, you know, the calculator only takes r equals. So if you plug in your calculator, you can test this out. Negative 4 divided by sine of theta, it will give you the same thing. Okay. All right, next. 
D for dog. Okay. So this is um, D is the last one um, for this video. All right, D R times secant of theta equals negative eight. You don't know anything about R secant of theta because all you know is x, right? X is R cosine of theta. Um, y is R sine of theta, but R secant of theta is not known. But that doesn't mean we can't convert it. So secant of theta is going to be 1 over cosine of theta equals negative 8. Okay, I'm going to keep on going. So from here, I'm going to have R over cosine of theta equals negative 8. I'm going to try to um, get rid of fraction. So multiply both sides by cosine of theta. So when I multiply both sides by cosine of theta, I have r equals negative 8 times cosine of theta. Okay. Now this looks like something that I can work with, except, okay, except this, um, this color. r cosine of theta is x, right? What I'm missing is, over here I have 8 cosine of theta. I'm missing r. So what I will do is I can go in and multiply both sides by r, okay? Now, squaring both sides is not going to help us here. Um, even though squaring both sides on the left-hand side will still give you r squared, but on the right-hand side, it's not going to achieve the r that we wanted. So I will not do that. So now I have r squared equals negative 8 r cosine of theta. r cosine of theta, I can totally now change that, right? And x squared, I can change that too. x squared is, I'm sorry, x squared, r squared is x squared plus y squared equals negative 8 this whole thing is x. Then from here, I'm going to set it equal to 0. And the reason is, any time you see an x square and a y square, I know there's some sort of a circle going, okay, because they both have the same leading coefficient. I will move, okay, the positive 8x on this side, add a blank spot, drop down the y square, set equal to 0. What I am doing is I'm completing the square to see how I can graph this without a calculator. All right, half of 8 is going to be 4, okay? 4 squared is going to be 16. What do you add to the left? You add to the right. So now I will, finishing up, completing the square. So I'm going to factor this out. This is x plus 4 squares, okay? Um, plus y squared equals 16. So this is a circle, and I will graph this circle using the rectangular format. I will not use polar. Again, I won't use polar until um, E and on, okay? So rectangular format said, hey, I can graph this out. The center is going to be the negative 4. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. There's the negative 4. Let me make my x and y axis, okay? You can still use um, this and just change it into rectangular. You just have to go in and sometimes eyeball where the tick marks are or just put in your own tick marks, okay? All right, so there's negative 4. That's my center, okay? Now, according to this, can you tell me what the radius is? Okay, so we knew the center. It's negative 4, comma, 0. This is r squared, right, in the um, standard form of this circle. So radius is 4. So what that means is I'm going to go right for... 1, 2, 3, 4, left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, extend it a little bit more, okay. Up 4, this is the part where I said, like, it's kind of, I'm going to eyeball it, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So up 4 is that dot, down 4, okay, so here is 4 unit down, and then I'm just going to draw, try my best to draw a, a nice circle. There we go. So that is my circle graphing um, using rectangular format. And this is the end of our video. Actually, you know what? Let me give you a joke because I know last time you guys were bummed out that I didn't give you one. Why is it safe to tell a mummy your secret? Why is it safe in the spirits of holidays or Halloween, right? Why is it safe to tell a mummy your secret? It will keep it under wraps. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, have a wonderful day.